court orders from here to wherever. That was so, to dissolve parliament? To dissolve parliament, compelling parliament to to enact the necessary legislation. One, it was 60 days, 40 days. You know, put the legislation in place. Mm -hmm. um, so there are many court orders. So it's not a political, it's not a legal challenge. Anymore. It's a political, it's actually a political issue. So you moved away from the low bit of it. Because uh, how many court orders are you going to get? Mm -hmm. President Uhuru, former president, ignored every single court order mm -hmm. when it came to cabinet when it came to uh parliament parliament they they made like they were going to pass the law but they would always deny it the necessary numbers mm -hmm. so it's it, it's not a legal pro problem mm -hmm. it's a political problem and it must be dealt with politically and when you so say even, political in what sense just elucidate a bit further you know polit politics is about interests okay mm -hmm. and for by and large women are not seen to represent political interests mm -hmm. okay because remember they are newcomers into this space yes, right yeah. and this space is owned let's say it, it's owned by people mm -hmm. so it's like um, women are coming to take away the space for men you know the it is the the, the issue of um, women's political empowerment is seen as the disempowerment of men the political disempowerment of men or the political emasculation of men mm -hmm. and women are not seen as representing those interests you know um, our politics is framed around issues of tribal you 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 do not see tribes uh, coalescing around women as their leaders mm -hmm. you know so of course whenever a tribe is told to bring their leader they will always bring men mm -hmm. so it, but, but people don't feel that their interests are served by women because women even culturally uh, at, at the home mm -hmm. you know when you talk about inheritance issues women uh, for the longest time up until now you know the the change of the law mm -hmm. and the the constitution compelling yeah. women were not seen as being worthy of inheriting land why because they are transient mm -hmm. these ones we are going to you know they sell them off you. elsewhere you know <laughs> uh, they're, so they're 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 kind of like visitors yeah. but even where you are married you are also not belonging you know you are seen as also a visitor mm. so it, it's the same thing so how do these women represent our interests yeah. you know so those kind of things need to change yeah. our mindset we need to have we need to be socially uh, you know, change to understand that ideally our political uh, arena is supposed to drive development, mm -hmm. you know, and that women can drive the <coughs> development agenda. Yeah. So we need to start shifting it that way and, and men need to begin to see women as allies, mm -hmm. as political allies, as opposed to threats mm -hmm. to taking away their political space. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely a political conversation, mm -hmm. right? And it, uh, I, I, I think it's going in the right direction now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, triggered by the president's memo. Yeah. And I, I mean, that's commendable mm -hmm. because at least we are seeing things, you know, if you, you look at the memo, he has warned them that this thing is not going away. Yeah, Remember, there that. is a, a threat of dissolution and we don't want to have to deal with that. Because yeah. if you dissolve parliament, you've dissolved government, you yeah. know. So, it, th so that's why I'm saying it's a political uh, problem. It must be dealt with politically. And I think the president is leading in that.